Thanks for joining us for another episode of Capital City News, your connection to Salt Lake City government. On this week's episode, we hear from Nicole Smedley with the Salt Lake City Recorder's Office about the 2019 municipal elections. And our History Minute is about the League of Utah Writers. Let's get started with our look back. Utah's very own World Cup champions made their way to Salt Lake City's historic city and county building, where they were honored with keys to the city. Mayor Biskupski and Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson recognized the world-class athletes for their professional contributions to the Utah Royals FC, the U.S. women's national soccer team, and their ongoing effort to bring awareness to pay equity within women's soccer. If there is anything that this crazy journey continues to teach me, it is to believe in women, to empower women, and to invest in women. So thank you. Park like a pro by not parking at red bagged meters. If you are looking for a parking spot and come across a red bagged meter, do not park here. An organization, business, or special event has reserved this meter with a parking meter permit to ensure the space remains unused. Parking meter permits are issued by the city's transportation department. If you park at a bagged meter, your vehicle will be subject to towing and impoundment as it is a violation of Salt Lake City Ordinance 12.56.180. There are no exceptions. Thank you for parking like a pro. If you have questions about the red bagged meters, please feel free to contact Salt Lake City Compliance. Primary election day is fast approaching on August 13th and ballots have been mailed out. Nicole Smedley with the Salt Lake City Recorder's Office has details about the process, what to expect and where to go for more information. Hi, I'm Nicole Smedley, Assistant City Recorder with Salt Lake City Recorder's Office. You should have received your ballot in the mail already. If you haven't, you can visit the Salt Lake County Clerk's website. They can mail your ballot out up until the week before the election day. Once you receive your ballot, go ahead and vote your ballot. And once you've voted your ballot, be sure to put it in the security sleeve. And then put the security sleeve in the postage paid envelope. Please make sure you sign the envelope or your vote will not be counted. Ballots can be mailed up until the day before election day. They must be postmarked the day before. If you'd like to vote in person, those options are available as well. You'll need a photo ID and to find those locations, please visit slc.gov. Next up is our History Minute. In 1935, the League of Western Writers established a Utah chapter in Salt Lake City. But in a meeting at the Art Barn in 1939, they officially became the League of Utah Writers, and an entirely new organization was born. As a confederation of writers from all over the state, the League was dedicated to helping all of its members make a career in writing. Every year, the League has put on a conference, inviting writers from all over the state and the country to speak to local writers. Perhaps the most notable guest that made their way to Salt Lake City was prominent Western writer Louis L'Amour. He spoke at the League's 40th annual conference in 1975 about his work in the Western genre. It wasn't his first time, however. He also attended the conference in 1957 before he'd become a household name to teach classes on poetry and writing for Hollywood. The League is still around today, holding annual conferences in Salt Lake City and cultivating the writing talent in the area. Well, there you have it. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Capital City News. Join us next time to stay up to date on all the latest. For SLC TV, I'm Poonam Kumar.